Hello and today we'll be seeing how we can make use of the OpenGuard custom invoice template plugin so as to help the web store admin to easily create custom receipt templates for the OpenGuard stores and allowing them to design multiple receipt templates and assigning them to different customer groups and uh, each predefined invoice template can be easily uh, customized by the uh, web store admin himself and this is one of the best solutions to create a configurable uh, what we say as the invoice template that can be easily managed and customized for the customer uh, for the different customer groups uh, that are there with the new web store so we'll be seeing that so first of all let's see how uh, a customer uh, places the uh, order and after that how he can build the customized uh, uh, what we say as the uh, invoice itself so for that let's go to the uh, store front now and uh, before we proceed further please do subscribe to our channel and uh, kindly do press the bell icon to get the latest updates uh, uh, for the various uh, plugin features that we're creating for the different uh, various uh, open source platforms and uh, do give it a thumbs up if you like the video so here i am at the order history of the customer and if i tap here on the web button for my particular order that i've placed i can tap here to download the invoice or i can with to print the invoice as well so let's uh, do both of them so uh, I've tapped on the download invoice let's tap here on the pr print invoice now the invoice that we are seeing right now is a customized uh, invoice that the uh, template has been selected from the admin backend panel uh, for the particular customer groups and according to the customer groups uh, these uh, uh, custom invoice templates can be assigned and here right now you can see the it's a custom uh, invoice template uh, with the details complete details as you can see right now and here we have the invoice let me open that up as well that's in the uh, PDF format so uh, here you can see in the PDF format also it is displayed very clearly and uh, all of the calculations are also precise and uh, in uh, alignment there now uh, let's head to the admin backend panel let's see how the admin can uh, basically set up uh, this particular plugin for the initial uh, use and how he can uh, create the custom templates there and the rest of the options so for that let's go to the admin backend panel now so we'll log into the admin backend panel of our open guard web store and first we'll make the initial configuration so after the successful installation uh, we'll first navigate through extensions and then extensions and thereafter we'll be choosing here modules and uh, we'll go to the customer uh, what we say as the uh, plugin that we have so the custom invoice itself so the here we have the customer invoice and we'll be tapping here on the edit button and that brings up the uh, initial configuration settings for this particular plugin and so the very first option here is to enable or disable this particular custom invoice uh, template uh, feature and uh, then we have the setting for the invoice uh, template so here you can select the uh, default invoice template that we have or you can set the template based on the customer groups so if you choose the set default invoice then you can see that the other option is removed and then you can choose the select default invoice template and uh, here you need to choose the uh, default invoice template that you want to apply to your uh, invoices otherwise if you choose it to set it as uh, the template based on the customer groups and uh, then you'll have to choose the template for your customer group you can do that choose that up and lastly you'll have to select your template for the customer group itself and then you can tap here on the save button to save the configuration settings now after we are done here now let's see how uh, the admin can manage the customer invoice and uh, for that uh, on the left hand side after the successful installation you'll have the invoice template option under that we have the invoice uh, template and uh, the configuration settings let's go to the invoice template first so one of the uh, under the uh, invoice template here we can see the complete list of uh, templates that we have created so here you see the default one that we just saw, saw the storefront having the store name and the details of the store at the end then the total then the payment address shipping the customer details uh, the store name and the store address and the order related details along with the payment method and the date itself so uh, you can see the complete list of the created uh, uh, invoices here we have the invoice template for the web pool and the invoice template for the open card and these two created invoices were accessible in the initial configuration settings whether you wanted to choose the 
default uh, uh, template for the uh, invoice there or whether you want it to have the uh, the custom ones there so the default ones are the custom ones for, for the custom ones we have these to the uh, invoice template for the web pool that we have created and for the open card itself and to add a new invoice template you just need to tap here in the add button and you can create your customized email uh, uh, customized invoice template basically I'm sorry for that and uh, you can the use make use of the uh, listed sort codes uh, within your template itself to display the different details there you can set the invoice template name and then you can make use of this uh, invoice template detail section to set up the particular invoice that you want to create so for example uh, you can use the store name like the same we can make you can copy that up you can paste that up here and uh, so this is your uh, the invoice body content and you can also use the invoice uh, keywords in the invoice uh, body display at the uh, top and lastly you just need to tap here in the save button to save your particular invoice template apart from that if you tap here in the configure settings it will take you to the initial configuration settings for this particular plugin itself so these are the ones that we've already seen by navigating through extensions extensions and the customer invoice there and then tapping on the edit button so here we can create uh, the invoice templates according to our requirements and uh, we can see the complete list of the invoice templates uh, we can choose to delete any of the templates that we have created by selecting them and then tapping here on the delete button and we can also add the uh, templates by tapping here on the add button and according to the applied invoice uh, template the uh, the admin can see the uh, downloaded uh, invoice as well so if I tap here on the uh, printed invoice or the download invoice let me tap the download so for the print you can see the one uh, the template that we have seen already that we are edited having the details at the bottom then the total uh, then the product details the payment shipping and the customer details on the right order ID invoice payment method date along with the uh, details of the store here and uh, here we have the invoice uh, from the admins end uh, depends upon the uh, applied uh, invoice uh, there the custom in invoice there and that will be displayed to the admin as well so that was much about the uh, plugin itself that's the open card custom invoice plugin and I hope it helped you out in understanding the flow of this particular plugin if you have any query doubt suggestions or requirements then kindly reach back to us at support at the rate of webpool.com or you may raise it to get at webpool.uedes.com thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead